Welcome back to Robin Reviews. Sorry I haven't been as frequent lately. Just still getting over this cold. Um, but I've been wanting to do this particular review video for a while. Um, it is Funko related. It's about a TV show. And uh, it's both positive and negative about, about the line. So um, I'm talking about, in my opinion, one of the greatest TV shows of all time. I'll let you see if you can guess. And uh, see, I'll even see people who are Funko collectors uh, as you're watching. If you can guess as we go, uh, Funko made seven characters. Um, and uh, if you haven't guessed yet, I am talking about Lost. I think Lost is easily my favorite show of all time. Um, I've seen it many times. And um, so what I thought I'd do for this is I do have some commentary on the actual line as well. Um, but I thought what I'd do is I would start with um, showing you the seven, but I'm going to go in reverse order, the ones that are um, my favorites. I'll show my least favorite one first. And so my least favorite is the Man in Black. Um, I, first of all, some of the other ones really look like the characters. Uh, I do like Titus Welliver as an actor, but I don't actually think this looks much like him. Um, but my biggest issue with this particular pop is I don't really understand why Funko made it. Uh, my guess is uh, they wanted to do the counter opposite of Jacob. Um, but there's a big difference between how much we see the man in black and how much we see Jacob in the show. Um, personally, if I was, you know, behind Funko Creative, I probably would have instead done... Um, a John Locke chase as the man in black, um, because I think that resonates more and we see even Locke more as him. And, uh, so really not much positive to say about this one. And the sad thing is, I mean, I, I went on IMDB the other day, um, looked up loss and I went basically from the most episodes to the least. And I think I came up with about 13 characters. I would personally have made into a Funko before the man in black. Uh, actually, before, probably before Jacob, too. Um, some of those include Saeed, Charlie, Sun, Jin, Claire, Ben. I uh, probably would have done a two pack with Rose and Bernard, uh, Tom Friendly, um, and uh, Boone, Shannon. I'd even do a two pack of Nikki and Paolo, only because that would be really ironic because they are terrible characters, but uh, entertaining episode if you know you know and there's more i probably oh and of course well i would do juliet but of course desmond would be one of them um i would actually have a lot of fun and maybe in a, in a later video i can say what part or what episode i would have taken the character from like for example ben i'd probably go all the way back to when he's pretending to be henry gale um, with the arrow coming over his shoulder, it's just, it's su his acting there is phenomenal. And I know originally when they had, um, him on, uh, when they started the character of Henry Gale slash Ben, I know he's only supposed to be in a couple episodes, but, uh, he just stole the show, uh, Michael Emerson did as the actor. And so those are all ones I do before the Men in Black. Um, yeah, but especially if they were going to do like a John Locke chase, cause I think that would have been fantastic. Uh, and so that's my plea, Funko, if you ever hear this, please do more Lost you will do exceptionally well. Even you could make a Mike, Michael and Walt pop. Uh, you could do so much. Um, and I'll stop my soapbox there. But uh, uh, you, you could even do... Here's the thing, Funko. If you were to do, like, endless variants of, like, Richard Alpert in every single decade, I would seriously buy all of them before I would have bought the Man in Black. But anyway, that's because I think Richard's a fantastic character. Okay, that's my little soapbox. Um, next least favorite is is probably Jacob. And I'll stack them all up at the end so you can see them together. Um, this actually has nothing to do with Jacob being a bad character. It's mainly because the other five are like the core cast and core characters. Um, I do think that Funko upped their game with Jacob. I mean, you have the... The bottle of wine, which if you're familiar with Lost, that's how he tries to explain what the island is and why he, what he's trying to do with the man in black by keeping him there. Um, classic Jacob. Uh, again, love the character. Great Funko, but he doesn't match with the the other five. 
So this is where it gets tough because I do love all of these Funkos and um, my next least favorite, again, not because of characters, is probably Kate. Um, maybe it's just me being nitpicky. I don't remember her even holding the handcuffs like that. I'm probably embarrassing myself because she probably does it. But, um, and I know she has freckles, but I just, and I know the, the outfit's spot on, but I really feel like they could have spent a little bit more time on Kate, um, for the character. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with the show, you start to, um, you know, she starts to mix in and look very, uh, like she could come from any other line. Uh, number, so now I'm going to turn around and start talking about how they're my favorites. Number four on my favorite list is Hurley Hugo Reyes. Um, I mean, this one, you could almost immediately tell is Hurley. I love that they added the Apollo chocolate bar. It's just so good. And he's so integral to the show. I love his hair and everything. Um, you know, he starts to look a little bit like a serious Black who's had too many chocolate bars. Um, you know, just in terms of the way his, his head is shaped. But love this pop. It definitely looks and, and captures Hurley. Uh, this is a tough one, uh, but I got a... Uh, my third favorite and second favorite are very close, so I'm going to say that uh, Sawyer is my second favorite. The detail in this, I mean, they're just upping the detail with every character. Not only does he have the uh, um, his book with him, but he also has the glasses, which famously... Saeed helped to make because he uh, he needed reading glasses and they didn't have his right prescription. So uh, if nothing else, uh, I could complain about the uh, attention to detail here because his his mustache, the part of his beard, isn't even centered on his face properly. So Funko could have done that a little better. But this is classic Sawyer. I love the attention to detail. I love that he has. And I love that they included the, the, um, the girl... Uh, frame glasses sticking out of his pocket it's just so good um, really great job with that we're down to the top two and if you know what Funko made you'll know what my favorite one is based on what my second favorite one is but for those who aren't 100% sure uh, we'll get to that second favorite I I'm not even that big of a John Locke fan um, I find his flashback stories really annoying actually um, just because it's so much different from who his character is in the show I mean, very whiny very clingy um and whether that's um about his dad uh or i'm gonna forget her name um helen uh lockwood i think um norwood norwood anyway um but i can't deny the attention to detail here i love the scar on his right eye and uh, even the crow's feet um the knife the compass, the everything, the sheath for the knife, everything they've put here is just awesome attention to detail. And so I can't ignore that. And so that would be my second favorite. My first favorite actually is probably one of the more boring <laughs> ones that Funko may have lost, but it's, it's Jack. Um, I heard originally that Jack was supposed to be played um, by uh, Michael Keaton, I think. And um, but because it, it the audience resonated with the character so much, they uh, he didn't want to do a full series, and so they went with Matthew Fox, who uh, I mean he's the center character for obvious reasons. Um, I say boring just because he's not really like unlike even Kate, uh, Jacob, Sawyer, Hurley, and Locke. He's not, he's not holding anything. Um, but I mean the attention detail is awesome. He's wearing his classic Jack backpack. His uh, tattoo that they included. I mean, the attention to detail is awesome there. And, uh, I mean, I'm a big Jack fan. And so that's easily my, my number one. And so, again, in order, Jack and Locke. And let's see if I get a good view on this. Sawyer. There we go. And Hurley. And it's a small pedestal, so I'll just leave the other three to the side. So I guess one of my questions, if you're watching this, is what do you think of the job that Funko did with Lost? Who would you add? Um, I mean, I think it's a bit of a shame that out of the core characters, you only have... Uh, I guess they are the core, but you have five here. Um, like Saeed, come on. Like, 
They, and then they gave them like a plethora of great characters that you could do. Charlie on his own, you could do many different variants on. Uh, Vincent, you could put with Walt. Like, there's just Sun and Jin in a two pack. Um, you know, uh, the options are really endless. Uh, I even thought the other day, you know, maybe I'm stretching this one a little bit, but I even thought, hey, like, could they could do a uh, glow-in-the-dark smoke monster where part of it glows with black light or something. So it's like when the, you have those uh, white flashes, which are showing them the memories. Again, that's probably a stretch, but I do think at least they could have made some more, um, and at least more before they resorted to the man in black. Um, now, maybe they lost the license at the time, but um, I'd love to see more of these. And, you know, I hear the complaint a lot. People who talk about Lost, they say, oh, uh, it was actually purgatory the whole time. I um, Actually, when I watch it, I don't think the finale could have been any clearer. Uh, they weren't in purgatory. What happened, happened. It just so happens that they decided to do half of the last season as these people trying to find each other after they die, as uh, Christian says to his son Jack. Um, some before you some long after you and yet they 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 meet together to um, move on together so that's i mean that literally what people would say purgatory is um the one thing with the purgatory though i did not understand is um why characters had completely different backstories in this purgatory um like how jack would suddenly have a son and that's why when i first watched it uh, immediately I knew that it, was, it wasn't just a simple, oh, they didn't crash. Because it's just like, well, how did Jack have a son then if this was a storyline? And the thing that really, really bothers me about the whole purgatory thing is they make this whole ordeal about how these uh, either intimate or traumatic experiences remind them of their time on the island. And, you know, if you follow the math and jack and juliet had a son together that would lead you to know that they would have had to have some intimate moments to get there and so part of me would wonder how would they not have gotten those flashes um because for some it, it's the right timing but for some it's just you know again a traumatic or, or intimate experience that awakens them i mean i think for juliet and sawyer it's touching hands when they buy a chocolate bar and so i think jack and juliet had to do more than that and so i just kind of think there's some holes there uh, again i love the show i think it's got some of the most uh, amazing set pieces and story writing uh, you know there's some times when it's not so great uh when i rewatch it i sometimes skip entire episodes especially ones with backstories of um um lock and son and Jin, uh, to name a few just um found them kind of boring even kate grates on me with her backstory because it's like hey she can't be that hard to catch uh, but the one question i always have when i watch lost again is in the opening season uh when jack finds his dad's coffin how come it's empty i asked that the first time i watched it and you know later in the season you start to think okay a series you start to think okay maybe his body was taken over by you know jacob or the man in black but then they kind of added their own plot hole at the end because then when when they bring Locke's body back and Locke is dead, um, you have Locke walking around the island with the man in black using his body, but his physical body is actually still there. And so that kind of means to me that Christian's body should have still been there. Anyway, I could talk for hours about Lost, um, but that's, uh, that's my review of the Lost series. Really wish there was more than seven. Uh, I have a, um, a display case at home it, it it shows four in the front. Um, and even though I have uh, Locke is more preferred than Kate, my front four together are Jack, Sawyer, Hurley, and, and Kate. Um, just, again, I like what Funko did with it, but for character-wise, uh, John Locke would not be in my top four. Um, so anyway, that's, that's my lost ramble and again i could go on and on i've already done 14 minutes on this but i could talk more and if anyone's interested to hear more lost rambles maybe i'll do a review of the show sometime although that would last a lot more than 14 minutes so thanks again for watching uh hit me up in the comments if you ever have something you want me to review or if you have things you disagree with or things you love that i said just let me know i'd love to hear from you and don't forget if you're able to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time